Hello. Uh, in this video clip, I'm going to show you how to measure supplies, or more in particular, the um, size between the best wire sizes designed by the designer. So for this, first of all, let me introduce you to our Sangamatology uh, menu catalog with all sorts of uh, applications. Uh, this uh, Sangamatology catalog, it has all sorts of applications for, uh, to help manufacturers measure their components. Uh, you can see this at sangamatology.com. And in this, I've got one of the pages that I can show you is how we design uh, and measure supplies. This is a component that I'm going to show you how to measure. Okay. This is basically a uh, supplies of a certain pitch, uh, pitch size, uh, but it's odd number sizes. And normally, the only way of measuring this is using uh, slip gauges, which is very laborious and very highly skilled operation. Uh, in this case, what we are going to measure is going to, just like in with the slip gauges, we're going to measure the size between the best wire sizes. Okay. Now to do this, we have an instrument, which is basically like this. It has two pins mounted on two anvils, which can go in and out, okay? And these are attached to a handle and a dial gauge. This is a Sangha trigger board handle. It measures in all sorts of applications from plane, threads, everything you can think of uh, from 16 to 200 uh, with a dial gauge and you will get a digital readout, okay? To pre First of all, we have to preset this in a ring gauge. This is a 35 millimeter ring. Now, I have already calculated that the best wire, uh, this distance between the be, uh, between the pins, in this case, is actually a preset this value, which is 31.503. Okay, that is two times the pin minus the size of the ring that I am actually using, which is 35 millimeters. Okay, from here I just simply go and I. Locate my spline onto the pins. I've got a, 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 a stop on the end so that this actually lifts, uh, locates square. Now, because the pins, the, uh, the number of splines are odd, it is not so simple because you've got to make sure that the angles will locate at a, uh, uh, not exactly on the center, but the next tooth to it. So with this system, I can actually show you that this is actually giving us a reading of 31.007. Now the, the method of measurement is simply just locate it on the, the, the stop and let the, let the, uh, the gauge or the uh, component find its own position. It can't go anywhere. It will, it will measure it will go on to the, um, uh, the, the tooth that uh, it's designed to go on to. Now, I can show you the repeatability of this system by simply uh, looking at the zero uh, really. Now, let me just slide this in position and take my first reading. Okay, it's clicked into place. I will zero this. Okay, you can see the zero there. And I will go back and I will read it within four microns, a zero in fact. Go back and it will find its own position. That's showing three three micron. So you can see you can get very good repeatability and with a very quick um, uh, measuring, measuring cycle. Semi-skilled people can be trained to do this.